Have you ever looked for a cute school outfit inspo online only to be faced with outfits that just don't work for school? Well, look no further because in this video, I show you 15 practical, dress code friendly, and weather appropriate back to school outfit ideas. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's back to school season and the in-person classes are coming very, very soon. And I want to make the campus my personal runway. So like a very normal person, I looked online for like really cute inspo, you know, back to school outfit inspo only to find very impractical outfits. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you 15 wearable, practical, dress code friendly, weather appropriate, back to school outfits. A little disclaimer, I'm going into my freshman year of college, which means all my life I've had school uniforms. So this is my first time actually dressing up for school, so I am inexperienced. So these outfits may or may not work, but I promise I made them as practical and wearable as possible. So this is the dress code I'm going to be following today. This is my school's dress code. It's not that strict, according to the upperclassmen that I I ask it's not that heavily enforced depends on the prof i'm going to be following this for reference also my school is really really hot and not all of the classrooms are air conditioned so i'm gonna try to dress as weather appropriate as possible without breaking the dress code which is kind of a challenge but yeah without further ado let's get started I'm gonna start with the outfits that will be on heavy rotation for me. I'm sure that I'll be wearing these throughout uni because I've already worn them out a lot in the past. So the first outfit is the outfit I wore in the intro. This is honestly my go-to outfit combo for all occasions regardless of school. Just a baby tee or like a cropped or like a fitted tee with a pair of like nice fitting jeans. The shirt I'm wearing right now is obviously not super cropped. Not my usual like cropped look because we're trying to be a little bit more modest for school. You could go with a graphic fitted tee like this one or you could go for a plain fitted D. If you plan on outfit repeating a lot and you don't want to make it super duper obvious, I would suggest going for a plain T. But personally, I just think that graphic tees are super fun. By the way, this bag and the other bag I'll use in this video aren't the ones I'll use to school. Obviously, this is like a tiny shoulder bag. It's not going to fit my things. I'm just using it for reference for the video, but it could go with like a backpack or tote bag. I plan on buying a tote bag in the future. Yeah, that is the first outfit. I'm going to be wearing this in many different colors and many different graphics. The second outfit is another outfit combo that will be on heavy rotation for me for sure. I know that the dress code says no bare midriffs, but I don't think my midriff is super bare here. The upperclassmen said that the dress code isn't super enforced, but yeah. In case your dress code is like stricter, you could always throw on like a cardigan or like a thin button up if it's like super hot like that to make it like dress code appropriate. I went for a monochromatic look like I usually do because I feel like it looks more put together than having your top and bottom be two different colors. I just feel like it looks cleaner. By the way, this tote is more of an accurate representation of what I'm trying to look for for school. I can't use this tote in particular because I find it to be too flimsy to carry my laptop. But yeah, the next two outfits are going to be the quote-unquote extra outfits. I'm saying that in quotes because extra is relative, but these are extra to me. So the first outfit is just me in this puff sleeve top and cargo pants. I don't know whether a black bag or a white bag would look better with this, but it's a weird outfit. It's confusing. It's giving mixed signals because like the girly top and the like androgynous bottoms. I don't know, I just like it because it's kind of weird. I think it's more extra than usual because the puff sleeves are super puffed and I feel like an evil princess in this for some reason. Honestly, I wouldn't consider this an extra outfit at all for like everyday use, but for like school, it's a bit extra for school, you know what I mean? Because it's like more than your usual t-shirt and jeans. And the next outfit I think is a little more predictable but still kind of extra for school in my opinion. I'm wearing this top with rhinestones on the sleeves, which I think is what makes it extra. Debating on whether I should remove the rhinestones or not because they're kind of like in the way of the outfit. It looks kind of weird. The top is pretty extra so I decided to dress it down by wearing just a plain pair of denim jeans. I would usually pair this with like a nice pair of white trousers or cream colored pants. Jeans make it nice and basic. I'm wearing it with air forces even if I would usually like wear it with kitten heels to make it school appropriate. And yeah, my top isn't cropped but I don't know if it's good enough for school because the cut is kind of low but it's not backless so I think it's it'll fly overall love this outfit and i'll definitely wear it to school one day the next two outfits are for when it's scorching hot on campus as i said earlier not every classroom in my uni has air conditioning which sucks but it's fine i can deal with it i'll be fine plus you have to walk from building to building and it's really freaking hot in the philippines no matter how many trees there are on campus for these two outfits i'm going to be wearing shorts and this is the only pair of shorts in my closet that fits dress code because it's right at the length of my middle finger which is what the dress code says so 
so it fits for the first outfit i'm just wearing a tank top with the shorts which i think is more of like a beachy vibe and maybe a little revealing depending on your dress code but if i'm wearing this i'm probably gonna bring this sweatshirt with me to like either wrap over my shoulder if i'm feeling like not super hot or like i could just fully wear the sweatshirt and it wouldn't be as revealing to be honest it's very hot in the philippines and this outfit is absolutely necessary for me in the next outfit i'm wearing a cap i'm pretty sure caps are allowed on campus and university because i saw an upperclassman wear a cap on campus in like a vlog on youtube for this outfit i'm wearing a sort of oversized t-shirt with it instead of the tank top i feel like it's more school appropriate maybe as you can see the fabric of the shirt i'm wearing is relatively thin it's even like borderline see-through it's not see-through but like almost see-through because that's what you need when it's really hot the next two outfits are the complete opposite of the last two outfits these are outfits i would wear if my glasses were air conditioned hopefully they are but yeah so the first outfit is just like a tank top cream colored pants and a pastel cardigan over it i love this pastel cardigan honestly it isn't that warm so maybe i could wear this on like a semi-hot not too hot day because it's like pretty light honestly with cardigans i like to pair like cropped shirts or like more fitted shirts with it to make it look more youthful and less grandmother as an alternative to the cardigan you could wear like a bomber jacket as well i really like this bomber jacket it's kind of warm because the sleeves are made of like faux leather and it looks super cool i always feel super cool in this jacket it's just kind of warm air conditioning is an absolute essential for this one the second outfit does not look like such a warm outfit but honestly it is because the top is like made of this really thick fabric and i wouldn't wear it if it was a super hot day honestly this is probably someone's school uniform somewhere out there but to me i think it's a cute outfit very country club i hate to say it old money aesthetic esque but it is what it is the next two outfits are outfits that are absolutely dress code appropriate i feel like no matter what your dress code is this will probably fit i'll wear this if my prof is like super anal about the dress code this first outfit is honestly the default outfit for probably Probably all people literally a t-shirt tucked into jeans with a cap and a tote bag the most basic outfit ever but it's like not revealing at all because god forbid anyone see my stomach and i don't want to be burned alive for showing my ankles so this is the outfit honestly it's really basic but you could spice it up by wearing a colored pair of jeans like i did in this video and you can like color coordinate and whatnot to make it look like a put together look even if it is the most basic outfit combo it goes without saying i feel like this outfit is an obvious also the cap and the shirt both say ny not the obsession with new york yes the next outfit is i don't know i feel like this would fit dress codes probably i know my top is cropped but you could easily replace this with a not cropped tank top or like a bodysuit for like a more cinched look and i'm wearing a light cotton button down over it to keep it even more dress code appropriate honestly really like this look as well it's like the second outfit in this video i show but more modest kind of it's really basic but you're sure to not break your dress code at all if you're wearing this you could even close the button down to go for a literal like semi-formal look i know you may find this hard to believe but i am a business major well kind of a marketing major so still kind of artsy but i know that i'm going to have classes where i either have like a presentation or like i have to like wear business attire or something like that so these next two outfits are my take on business attire first outfit is she going golfing or is she in business attire i feel like to make this a more businessy look you could just button up the buttons and take out the cardigan like i feel like it would be super formal businessy vibe that way but this is how i would prefer to wear it on campus i love this look it looks like i'm going freaking golfing or something but it's nice it's like preppy and cute and it's versatile because you could like button the buttons for when you're presenting and then you could unbutton them once you're done with the class this is me presenting yes this is an example of what you would look like presenting in it yes slay and yeah next outfit Outfit. it's more of a business casual outfit i'm wearing a tank top trousers and a blazer i went for like a properly fitted blazer here but if you want to go less formal you could pair it with an oversized blazer instead this is me presenting something that's what i would look like presenting in it and you could also go for a colored blazer if you're allowed to yeah the next two outfits are literally wild guard outfits because i have no category to put these under but they're still like nice school outfits so the first outfit is me in overalls i got these overalls a few months back and i still don't know how i feel about them but i'm wearing it with a collar top inside that's kind of like a lower neck to make myself look less like a freaking little boy yeah this is what it would look like i just did a blue on blue look go ateneo just kidding but i think it's cute maybe might wear this one day sometimes i feel like overalls make me look like a door but i think it's 
cute on certain occasions. And then the second outfit, is she going to the club or is she going to school? I guess we will never know. I would wear this with like a mini skirt if I'm going like partying or whatever. But like I'm just wearing this tank top, trousers, and then a mesh shirt on top. I feel like a mesh shirt won't make my outfit like warmer. It won't like make me super sweaty because it's literally mesh. It adds a layer to your outfit as well. And I think it's nice. I don't know. It's a vibe. And I might wear it to school one day. Let's see. And of course, last but not the least, a full circle moment. My online class outfit. I th really thought I was funny with this one. Like I thought I was a comedy genius for including this. But I still have online classes. I'm pretty sure I'm doing like half and half. Half online, half on site. This is what I wore to Zoom for the past two years. Shorts and a crop top. This is how I dress. Yes, slippers. Honestly, the best school outfit. Superior school outfit. I love it. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Literally, please follow me. I am cooler on there, probably. Yeah, that is it. Bye!